Hey guys, it is Patrick here and I wanted you to know before you dive right into this accounting information systems lesson that the accompanied worksheet is available for download if you head to my website at www.patricklymsa.com or I'll leave the link directly to that worksheet down in the description below. Click on that, download the worksheet and print it out and that way you can follow along the accounting information systems lecture that I'm about to teach. So it has all the notes that I'm going to be going over. All you need to do is write your notes and fill in those blanks. So make sure you do that. And here is your AIS lesson. All right. In this lesson, we are going to actually take our accounting hats off for a few minutes and instead put our manager hats on. Now, we are specifically talking about the decision making process. Now, this is not to say that accountants don't make decisions. We do make a lot of decisions. That's what we call professional judgment is us making judgment calls and decisions. But, you know, what's our job here in AIS? Our job is to take data, transform that data, organize that data into information to give to decision makers in the form of managers. Now, no disrespect to accountants. Um, you know, oftentimes, you know, I get this question from students like, you know, we've got this like silo effect where accountants do this and managers do this. How come we aren't at the table with the manager? And we are, um, but we have distinct roles. And so that's not to say that nowadays we've started to blend those roles where accountants are at the table with managers, but just to keep it separate here and in silos here, we're talking about decision-making process from a manager's perspective. And this is going to help us understand, you know, how, how are we providing information to them and how are they interpreting that information to help them make decisions? So we're going to spend some time here talking about decision making process and what that might look like for a manager. So let's get started by kind of tying it all into accounting information systems. So accounting information systems turns data into information. This information helps management make decisions. As accountants, we should understand that the decision making process that we have a part in. So, you know, we should understand what they're going through based on the information that we give to them um, at the end of the day. So we can break down the decision-making process into really five distinct steps. The first step is to identify the problem. So, you know, managers, um, you know, are looking and, and maybe they're not necessarily identifying the problem. Maybe the problem is being told to them, but they've got a problem. So they need to identify that problem and, obviously make some changes or fix something in order to resolve that problem. The second thing is they want to do is they want to collect and interpret information. So this is where we pay a pivotal part in their decision making process because they're going to need some information in order to make a decision. And so as they're identifying the problem, they're collecting information so that they can get a better idea of what's going on so they can make the most or they can make the best decision possible with the information that they have have at hand. Then they need to evaluate ways to solve the problem. Now, this may include us. This may not include us. Now, if it's a financial problem, obviously, it's going to include us. So we may be involved in the division uh, decision making process in that we may need to help them evaluate ways to solve the problem. So for instance, that might be relooking at the budget and figuring out, okay, we need to cut expenses by 10% because of whatever issues. So the accountants need to go in and tweak the budget and find a way to take 10% out so that we can achieve that goal. Um, then that once the manager understands and evaluates the different ways to solve the problem, then that manager needs to select a solution methodology. So how are we going to go about solving this problem and then implement that solution at the end of the day? So it's a little bit drawn out here. Sometimes those decisions are made like that. Uh, sometimes they are not. They are, it's a process to make that decision and it takes a while for that solution to be implemented at the end of the day. So, you know, that's what's happening in the auditors or uh, sorry, that's what's happening in the manager's mind. Now, accounting information systems aids management in all phases of the decision making process. So, you know, to kind of go back here, we said that, you know, most of the times we kind of focus right here, right? So that's kind of our focus. But, you know, there may be some instances where we some find some an anomaly in the finances and we've actually identified the problem and we've taken it to management so they can handle that problem. So I don't have to do that, right? So 
Um, we could be a part of that and accounting information systems can do that for us because it can, you know, we can actually, you know, red flag things. So if something is out of sync here, it will red flag it and then send us a report on that red flag. Um, and then we can help with selecting a methodology, um, a solution methodology, because we can give them probabilities, right? We can say, well, if this happens, there's a 20% probability it's going to cost this and a 30% it's going to cost this and uh, a 40% it's going to cost for 30, 50, 50% pros, uh, possibility that this pro, this would cost this. So we're going to give them pro probability um, in what it would might cost to help them make that decision. So we're along this decision-making process all step of the way. Our critical points here is that second and third step. So that is a look at the decision-making process. Again, it's a very useful process when you're thinking from a management. You gotta identify the problem. You gotta get some information. You gotta weigh that information on different scenarios that could happen. And then you need to start to implement that solution at the end of the day to fix that problem or try to fix that problem so that you can move on to your next fire that you got to put out. So hope you enjoyed this lesson and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching this lesson. If you're looking for the next lesson, make sure you hit up that lesson right over here. And if you are looking for the entire accounting information systems course, make sure you head to my website at www.patrickleemsa.com where I have the full AIS course available to you. So until next time, we'll see you in the next video.